So what is the forecast for this hurricane season? CBS4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer joining us now. Craig. Well, there's two things we're looking at as we go into this hurricane season, and they won't, we won't really know for sure how it's going to turn out in terms of these two things until we get a little bit further into the season. First off, this is our main development region. This is where the big, the devastating hurricanes typically develop and come from, and it's the ocean temperatures in these areas that we watch closely. Right now, it's near normal temperatures in the Caribbean and it's far western Atlantic, but over here, central and eastern tropical Atlantic, the water temperatures are well below normal. We know from history that when the water here is cooler, the hurricane season is less active. But here are the typical major hurricane tracks. Of course, a major hurricane is category three, four, or five, and does the major amount of damage. So we're gonna be watching that water out there very carefully. The other water we're gonna be watching it's here in the El Nino zone. It's the tropical Pacific right near the equator and the ocean temperatures right now are indicating near normal conditions. Now, we had a bit of a La Nina last year, but the forecast is for weak El Nino conditions this year. And El Nino creates this disruptive wind shear we didn't have much of any wind shear last year. The storms just marched to the west uninterrupted. But this year, the computer models, here they are, showing that there's a forecast for a weak El Nino. This is the time frame we're looking here, August, September, October. You can see the majority of the members above that line there, the La Nina El Nino line. So two things we're going to be watching as we go into the season. Is the Eastern Atlantic going to be cool? Is it going to stay cool? It would be less active. Is the El Nino going to develop? If it does, then we would see a less active season. But for now, uh, the Colorado State forecast is for a near normal season. They'll be watching that water out there. Also, the state of El Nino, they're calling for 14 named storms, six hurricanes, two major we normally have 12 named storms, seven hurricanes, and two major hurricanes. That's a normal season. Okay, so only the first day of hurricane season. What are the factors that could change the outlook of this so season? So the things we'll be watching will be that El Nino, and we won't know that until later in the year. In fact, here's what uh, the graph shows. That's our typical hurricane season. By July, that's when we have our highest forecast skill for the hurricane season. That's when we better know the state of the El Nino, or in some cases, a La Nina. But hurricane season doesn't ramp up, ramp up for another month. It's usually in uh, August where things really start getting active. Now, some people like to take a look at seasonal cycles, uh, like the one that apparently began back in 1995. It was forecast to last for about 20 to 25 years, a more active cycle than what we had seen before that. So. Do you think that we might be approaching anytime soon a less active cycle? Well, it's possible. Now, here's a look back at some of the hurricane cycles. This is from 1900 to 1950, and we had a ton of major hurricanes go through South Florida, especially in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. But then after that, we went through a period where there was less, active less activity, and then there's been a little bit of an uptick recently. It's kind of one of those things where you don't really know until you're in it, mm -hmm. but it looks like this year, maybe, hopefully, we'll have a less active season. Well, I hope so. understand more when you see the graphics like that. Yeah. So thank you, Craig. Yep. Thanks, Craig. And another <laughs> invaluable source of important information, particularly during hurricane season, is the CBS Miami weather app. There you can find local conditions such as wind, cloud cover, hourly forecasts, and the radar app, which allows you to zoom in and see where activity is and where it's headed.